in the Asia session analysis, I have told categorically for US 100, 12,000 levels and for US 30, 30 to 780 levels. Both fail to breach, fail to sustain below these levels and have shown a very strong bounce back. What does it mean? Are they going to rise? Or we can see a bearish move again. Which position you should take in order to profit? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon. Let's start. First we look into Tech 100. Followed with Dow Jones. Watch till the end. And yes, remember pressing the bell icon keeps you updated with a twice a day analysis which I shared. Remember this is the second analysis. Those who had watched the morning analysis definitely would have profited. Now this is the second analysis for the day here. Now look at the hourly charts. You can see the movement here, rise, higher highs, consolidation. It has come back to the same levels and now it is trying to rise again. 12,000, certainly a very good support. On the upside, you have to wait for it to break past 12,160, 12,200. Yesterday also I have mentioned the same. Once again, I am telling you the same. 12,160, 12,200 if it breaks, then you can expect 12,250 and beyond that, sky is the limit. It may try to fly high. Right now it is reversed, it is trying to achieve higher highs, but see four greener candles in a row and it is trying to trade in this channel, eliminate this breakout here. Now if you see it trading about 12, 1, 20 levels, rather I will say you can uh, wait for 12, 1, 60. if that is fine, I think you must wait for 12, 1, 50. beyond that little more bullishness is seen, else you can buy here at 12, 1, 30, then expect 12, 1, 60 and beyond that further bullishness is seen. Now see directional movement is bullish here, the stock eye stick is overbought, MACD has crossed over trading with divergence bullish, RSI is also looking upwards and if you look at 2 hour charts, now on the 2 hour charts see 3 red candles, 3 green candles, higher highs, higher lows, trying to trade bullish, just wait for it to break past 12130 then expect 12160 and then 12200, 250 levels will be seen. Directional movement bullish, stochastic looking up, the MACD divergent and bullish looking upwards showing strength, RSI is also looking upwards. Now look at the 3R charts, on the 3R charts most importantly remember previously we had seen lower highs, this candle is trying to give a breakout, let it stay about 12130 then further bullishness may be seen, higher highs, higher lows which means 12200 can be expected. At the same time, if you see it trading below 12.0, see first is 12.060 levels. If it stays below, you can expect 12.040, 12,000 and below 12,000 only little more bearishness. See till 11.980 levels, you have to put a trailing stop loss with a 20 point because till 11.980, it can reverse again any point of time. Directional movement trying to cross over for a bullish move, stock I stick reversing here, looking upwards. The MACD is in green, trying to trade bullish. RSI is also trying to look upwards. And if you look at the 4 hour chart, on the 4 hour charts as well, higher highs are seen. Potentially, if it tries to drop, 12060 levels may provide a very good support. And below that, till 12000, it, rather till 11980, for every 20 points, you have to put a trailing stop loss. And above 12130, you can expect 12160. 12200 levels which is going to be a very good resistance beyond that 1250 is the target. Directional movement bearish, stochastic looking up, the MACD is also looking upward trading bullish here, RSI is also trying to show the little strength. Now look at the daily charts, most importantly if you look at the daily charts, see higher lows are seen, tail is formed, lower highs are seen, any point of time if it stays above 12200 you can expect that Potentially, we may be looking forward to 12,350 levels and beyond that, little more bullishness will be confirmed. Right now, it is see the 50 and 100 period moving average as a trading with divergence, the 20 period moving average looking down. This is a slight bearish indication here. So, right now, it is still trying to reverse, retrace on the upside, but wait for it to break past 12,200 and 250 levels in order to confirm the bullishness. Directional movement here is bullish, stock I stick looking up. The MACD is bearish trying to converge here, cross over for a buy. Let's see if it does. Once again, I am trying to show you this. Look at this. It is done with the drop. Possibly if it converges here from here on the upside, we may see good bullish momentum. RSI has also seen a good drop. 
considering this for the day buy at 12130 but then expect 12160 12200 as the next resistance is beyond that 12250 levels will be seen and beyond that sky is the limit on the downside you can sell here at 12060 till 11980 you have to put a 20 point trailing stop loss below 11980 11940 11920 11 rather and then below that 11880 840 800 only below 11800 we are going to go bearish for the day trade accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss now let's have a look at dow jones and yes if you want to learn this art of trading profitably you should join my mentorship batch the 20th batch starts on 13th of march book your seats now reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id is mentioned in the channel and video description now look at the early charts for us 30 certainly 32800 and 32782 levels i had told you very very strong support exists here it failed to break past and it is reverse and it is still trying to trade in the box now again 33000 33050 levels you have to wait for it to break out this see bollinger bands also might get a little pull on the downside and hence you can buy at 33000 levels expect 33050 33100 levels only above 33100 little more bullishness will be confirmed and a good rise is seen only if it trades above 33200 if you look at the direction movement here is bullish stochastic is overbought the macd divergent and bullish rsi is also looking upwards showing a little strength if you look at the two hour charts on the two hour chart see it is shown a reversal then it has broken the previous highs also it has broken the pivot here certainly 33000 levels you should watch out for 33000 rather i will say 33020 33050 levels are going to be the next range since you can buy at 33000 itself expect 33020 33050 and 33120 beyond that 33200 will be seen directional movement trying to cross over for a buy the stochastic rising the macd divergent and bullish rsi trading flat now if you look at 3r charts likewise on the 3r charts trying to trade bullish see now higher lows higher highs on the downside be watchful till 32 840 850 levels and beyond 32 800 we can expect further bearishness that is 32 780 you can expect further bearishness if you look at the directional movement bearish stochastic is seen rising looking upwards the macd is bullish the rsi is trading flat now look at the daily charts four hour charts on the four hour charts too first thing is higher lows higher higher highs lower lows in the recent candles the pivot here somewhere at 32850 levels also if you look at it is trying to form a symmetry 33020030 levels little resistance beyond that we may see it hitting 33120 and 33150 200 levels if you look at directional movement is bearish stochastic is seen looking upwards indicating strength the macd is divergent and bullish the rsi is also trading flat here and if you look at the daily charts now see most importantly on the daily charts low lows are seen and probably if you draw a little stretch there you can expect 33 180 levels on the upside are going to be a good resistance now see it is formed a tail for the day possibly it may try to trade bullish 33 100 180 levels can be expected directional movement bearish stochastic looking up the macd is bearish here and it is trying to converge crossover for a bullish move rsi trading at bottom considering this i will recommend you to buy us 30 today at 33000 levels but remember 33020 33050 these two levels you should wait for it to break then 33120 and then 33180 200 rule only and only if if you see us 30 is staying above 33200 confirm that it is trying to break on the upside we may see 33400 500 zone very very soon which is the next resistance zone on the downside i will recommend you to sell here at 32900 levels below 32900 32840 32780 32, levels you should wait for it to break past 32780 further bearishness can be seen till 32780 be cautious it can reverse again any point of time 
take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship net join my signals channel reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id the mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you